breaking right now. The bodies of two construction workers have been recovered from a Baltimore River following yesterday's key bridge collapse. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching. I'm Katie Moore. And I'm Sheree Gibson. Divers have spent much of the day searching that river. Four others are still missing. Visibility has made the search more difficult and dangerous today. Meanwhile, the NTSB is in the early stages of investigating what happened on board the cargo ship. Soon they plan to begin interviewing personnel and analyzing evidence from the ship's data recorder. As we know here in Louisiana, there are countless bridges and many of the most well traveled are right here in the New Orleans area. But some are closing because of safety concerns. Eleanor Tabone joining us now with live details. Katie and Cherise, DOTD has closed three bridges in our area. One of them is the Ted Hickey, which is behind me in Orleans Parish. Then you have the Bayou Bienview and the Chalmette Ferry Bridge over in St. Bernard Parish. Now, the reason they've been closed is because of structural issues. DOTD says until those repairs are made, they have to be closed because it's not safe for drivers. But they're not going to be closed forever. The Ted Hickey Bridge, also known as the Seabrook Bridge, closed, then reopened, then closed again because of concerns below the surface. We are going to have to replace some structural elements. Upon a special inspection, uh, it was deemed that that bridge needed to be taken out of service for the, in the interest of public safety. Scott Boyle with DOTD says it's not going to be completely replaced and is expected to open in September. We're currently in, in the process of designing an emergency project to get that bridge fully rehabilitated. 15 minutes away in St. Bernard Parish, the Bayou Bienview Bridge will soon close. Scott says it's going to take about a year and a half to completely repair this bridge. Once construction starts for that particular project, we're, we're anticipating to, to be able to keep open uh, both lanes in the northbound direction of, to facilitate some flow in and out of St. Bernard Parish. At the end of Paris Road is the Chalmette Ferry Bridge. This bridge provides access up onto the ferry. This bridge is also closed. That bridge was deemed to be uh, in, in not a safe condition due to some substructure issues. Scott says depending on permitting, it could be closed for a year. This bridge isn't to be confused with the Green Bridge, which is still open. The bridges have a, a lifespan of about 70 to 75 years, but they're sitting in water. They're subjected to heat 24-7, 365. There's other elements for wooden bridges. There's termites. Scott says he understands drivers may be worried driving over bridges after seeing what happened in Baltimore this week, but says accidents like that are rare. Katie and Sharice, now Scott told me there are 1,200 bridges in the New Orleans area and all those bridges are inspected now every two years. Now inspe when inspectors come out, they look for rust, they look for cracks in those bridges. He says it's a very thorough inspection and all those inspections adhere to federal guidelines. Reporting on the lakefront, Eleanor Tabone, WWL, Louisiana. All right, some important information tonight. Thank you, Eleanor, and we'll continue to watch bridge closures in our area and follow the latest in that awful collapse investigation from Baltimore. You can always get the latest from WWL Louisiana right here or online.